which you see right before your eyes. This is how the Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago. When gravity brings these rocks together, our Earth was formed. But the Earth at this time is very hot. There is no hard surface. Only the vast expanse of lava. The temperature even exceeds 1200 C. About 4.5 billion years ago, a planet called Sa is crashing into Earth at 15 miles per second. The shock wave it produces spreads rapidly. Huge amounts of debris were ejected into space. Eventually our moon was formed, and because of this violent collision, this makes the rotation speed very fast. There are only six hours in a day. Then with the influence of lunar tidal force, this makes the rotation speed begin to decrease. The magma on the surface is also gradually cooling. About four billion years ago, a comet with water hit the Earth again. And it was because of this collision. It has brought torrential rain to the Earth for as long as three million years. Since then, the Earth has become a blue ocean planet. About 3.7 billion years ago, the first single-celled life was born. After that, the cyanobacteria in the ocean began to learn photosynthesis and enter the explosive reproduction and growth. A large amount of oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Since then, the Earth has given birth to life. About one billion years ago, Earth's temperature suddenly dropped and experienced an ice age that lasted tens of millions of years. The life process was interrupted for a while. The Earth thus became a snowball. After thousands of years, massive volcanic eruptions. That's when the temperature of the Earth starts to warm up and again created the conditions for life. About 500 million years ago, the evolution of the Earth has changed dramatically. The Cambrian explosion of life. Countless animals and plants began to be born. 200 million years ago, the species that ruled the Earth for 130 million years dinosaurs appeared. 65 million years ago, an asteroid 10 miles in diameter hits us. Its explosive power is equivalent to the power of a 100 trillion ton TNT nuclear bomb. 99% of living things perish in collisions. It is also because of this incident. That is why human beings have the opportunity to be on the stage of the Earth. Finally two million years ago, the first Homo sapiens was born on Earth and continued to evolve over the next millions of years with a well-developed brain and flexible limbs. In the end, human beings stand at the top of the Earth's food chain, thus dominating the entire Earth.